The Guelph Historical Railway Association Caboose No. 436994 was built in the late 1920s by the Canadian Pacific Railway with all wood construction. It was later rebuilt with a steel underframe in 1941 to accommodate heavier rail equipment in use at the time. The caboose was used as the railway employees home away from home. While working on their train, this is where the crew slept, cooked, ate, and lived. It has room for three beds, a stove, a desk for paperwork, a small sink, though very little else is present. Employees would live in these for days at a time, often in very remote locations throughout the country. The cupola, the raised section on the roof, was there to provide for safe operation of the train, allowing the conductor and brakeman to see over the tops of the freight cars. From there, they could make sure there were no problems with the train. CNR 60337, built by National Steel Car in 1950 and originally numbered 8990, is our baggage car in our collection. It's a lightweight baggage car and was used on passenger trains throughout the country. This car was built as part of an effort by the Canadian National Railways to modernize their equipment to compete with the automobile and air travel of the time. Unlike a lot of passenger equipment, 8990 was never transferred to Via Rail in the 1970s. Instead, the Canadian National Railway retained ownership of it and its number was changed to 60337 for use in work train service as a tool car. The GHRA's current use of this car is a storage car, allowing us to work on various restoration projects, and eventually, we hope to have it turned into a rolling museum, displaying various pieces of railway equipment and artifacts. Our newest acquisition, Coach 3216, was built in 1954 for the Canadian National Railway for use on the Supercontinental, a Trans-Canada train that ran from Toronto to Vancouver. When built, it was a first-class car and one of the best of the Canadian National Fleet. In 1965, it was rebuilt into a cafe and snack bar coach as part of CN's modernization efforts. Two washrooms and one bank of seats were removed to make way for the snack counter. The original, including a coffee maker, pop fountains, refrigerator, and two hot plates. In 1978, CN sold the coach to the newly formed Via Rail Canada, who rebuilt it to the interior specifications in 1978 and renumbered it to 3216. Remnants from the Via Rail era in the coach indicate it was used all over Canada, from Vancouver to Halifax. This coach, or many like it, were daily visitors to the Guelph area on trains to and from London, Windsor, Palmerston, Hamilton, Toronto, Owen Sound, and many other locations. In 1993, Via Rail retired 3216 and sold it back to CN, where it became part of their work train fleet. In 2003, 3216 would be saved from scrap when the Southern Ontario Locomotive Restoration Society, or SOLRS, acquired it from CN. It was used on tourist and steam excursion trains around St. Thomas on the St. Thomas Central Railway, and in 2007, it became part of the Waterloo Central Railway's fleet, based out of St. Jacobs, Ontario. After being declared surplus by the Waterloo Centre Railway, 3216 was donated to the Gulf Historical Railway Association in February 2021. Our goal with this car is to restore it and allow it to be used for tourist operations in the future. <laughs>